Let's get to the other top story today. A huge morning in Boise, Idaho, as the Lori Vallow Daybell trial officially begins today in the murders of her children and her husband's late wife. News specialist Lauren Steinbrecher is live in Boise this morning. And Lauren, what do we expect to happen today? Yeah, Tamara and uh, Dan, so today is going to start with jury selection. So finding the people who are going to be ultimately deciding if Lori Vallow Daybell is guilty or innocent. Now, Vallow Daybell is on trial for the deaths of her children, Joshua J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan, and conspiracy to kill her husband, Chad Daybell's late wife, Tammy Daybell, among other charges. So what will happen on day one? KSL legal analyst Greg Scordis, who has worked as both a defense attorney and prosecutor, tells me the court will bring in about 100 potential jurors and start asking them questions in a style of process by elimination, whittling down the jury pool to about 30, 40 people, then letting attorneys pick the final 12. He says it's important to find people who can say with honesty they haven't already formed an opinion on if Lori is guilty or innocent. The jurors are going to say, I know about the case. That's not the question. The question is, given what you know about the case, can you still make an opinion and base your decision solely on the evidence that you're about to hear during this trial? Scordis says the jury selection process that will start today could take several days up to a week before I move on to opening statements. Now, coming up at 5.30, we're going to hear from J.J. Vallow's grandparents, Kay and Larry Woodcock. They're going to be flying into Boise here tomorrow, but they're also still waiting on if they're going to be able to sit in the courtroom to watch that trial. Tamara. Yeah, still some unknowns there. Thanks so much for that update live for us in Boise. Lauren Steinbrecher. Yeah, keep it right here with KSL Television. We will have complete coverage for the duration of the trial. You can find updates both on air and online, ksltv.com. Get our app. Uh, we'll have a lot to say in the coming days and weeks.